What the Golf may seem shallow at first. It's just a simple golf game with silly dad jokes and stupidly dumb slapstick humor. Just a $15 digital download that gives you 10 to 12 hours of laughs and then sits in your library for the rest of time. But to some, it's way more than that. Some people go as far as to spend 130 hours speedrunning the game trying to beat it in under an hour. <coughs> Me. <coughs> but anyway, these select few can get creative with the game, with things like a creative speedrun category, a whole video about what the golf lore, and a challenge to beat the game in as little strokes as possible. That last one's from me, and we're going to be continuing it today. It's here, folks. This is What the Golf, Minimum Strokes, Part 2. Before we get back into the swing of things, let's fix some errors or miscommunications made in the first episode of the series. First off, Stick It from the 2D section can actually be completed in 5 strokes as opposed to 6. If we make use of some careful maneuvering, we can enter hole in one in 4 strokes, one less than the 5 mentioned in the video. Balls can be completed in 3 strokes if you get lucky, and On Point can be completed in 1 stroke, making use of a glitch called Arrow Clip. That puts our total at 83 strokes as we start the video. So starting right where we left off last time, we're going to start by going to the soccer section. The first hole in this section can be gotten to in three strokes and takes six to fully complete. The second hole can be gotten to in two shots while taking nine to beat, three for each of the mini holes inside of it. Following that, we head into Silly Kids, which requires two strokes to get into, and can be completed in two more if you shoot to the right on your first stroke and get lucky. This seems like a good time to point out that a lot of the holes in this section involve getting kicked around by the spinners or the soccer players, which is fairly precise. So moving on to Drupal A, we have to use one shot to get there and four to complete. Three to zero, takes one stroke to get to, and six to beat, one less than the par. Lastly, we have Soccer Punch, which with some slick maneuvering can be beaten in five strokes, plus one stroke to enter. Two more shots and we reach the button, putting our total at 127 strokes. Moving on to the Mario Golf section, we start by taking two shots into the leftmost hole, which contains the Flappy Bird levels. Flappy Birdie takes 11 strokes to beat, and Bubble Putt takes three. Bobbly is an interesting one. By bouncing down and to the left, we can set ourselves up on the second stroke with a path that will allow us to finish the hole in five. Moving on to the Mario hole with one stroke to enter, we can complete It's a Me in eight strokes. If we get up onto the pipe in Wahoo in three strokes, we can finish the hole in nine. Donkey Golf requires us to take four shots in order to complete. We then move on to Angry Birdie, which takes four strokes to get to and one precise one in order to complete. Finally, there is Score, Scorer, Scorist, which takes one shot to get to. Score can be completed in six strokes, while Scorer needs seven. Scorist can be completed in one easy stroke, and with two more to the button, that puts our total at 192 strokes. Space! The first hole in the space section takes three strokes to get to, and the two holes and holes can each be completed in one. The second hole can be done in three shots, including the one it takes to reach it. It took me two strokes to get to the third hole in the section, and four to complete the hole itself. Completing the fourth hole in the section was no problem. Get it? <laughs> be because it's called no problem. Okay, horrible jokes aside, this hole takes one stroke to get to, and both of its holes can be completed in one stroke each. Finally, we move on to Eagle, the last hole in the section, which takes three strokes to beat. Two more, and we reach the button, bringing our total to 216 strokes as we move to the barrel section. The first hole in the barrel section, Carboom, can be completed in two strokes, with three used to get there. Big Bada takes four shots to get to, and if we bounce off the first card into the barrel, we can complete it in two. The next hole, Boom, can be completed in two strokes, and Boombastic, with one shot to get to, can be completed in three. We then take one stroke into Boom 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 Boom, and man is this one a doozy. At first, it may seem like this hole needs three strokes to complete, and that's what I thought too, until I found this pebble. This pebble can launch you in some interesting ways, and if you get the angle just right, you can get into position to complete the hole in two strokes. Whew. Moving on, it takes four strokes to get into KO, which can be completed in four if you shoot yourself onto the top section on your third stroke. 
Barrel roll takes two strokes to reach, and if you execute what I call ultimate ultimate pro maneuver, you can complete it in two shots. If you want to know what I mean by that, you'll have to stop by my speedrun Sunday streams, linked down below in the description. Anyway, the next hole, what, can be completed in five strokes, with four needed to reach it. Then what a ride takes two shots to get to, and since you just have to hold the button down, this hole can be completed in zero strokes. That's a first. We just have to take two more strokes to reach the button, and then we can take another to enter the World 8 boss, which requires eight strokes to beat. That puts our total at 273 strokes as we go on to World 7. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. Do you think this part can be done in fewer strokes? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I'll be continuing this series sometime in the near future, so stay tuned for that and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like some of my other videos linked down below in the description. And with that, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.